Hello boys and girls, it's Miss Maria. How are you? I hope that you really liked working with uh, Caterpillar drawing and painting. I'm and going to introduce you guys. We're gonna see our friend Roy again. And we are going to learn about our friend Roy right now. And the reason why he's called Roy G. Bibb. Now we know that our friend Roy is a rainbow, right? We can see that by the shape. And his name means the colors that we see in a rainbow. So if we can remember Roy's name, Roy G. Bibb, right, that's his name, then we can always remember the colors of the rainbow. We can remember that R is for red, O is for orange, Y is for yellow, that's Roy. Then we've got G for green, B for blue, I for indigo, and then we even have a V for a violet, Roy G. Bibb. And if you guys remember Roy's name, you'll remember the order of a rainbow. Give him a high five. Okay. Now, boys and girls, all of Roy's colors in the art world get organized onto something that we call a color wheel. Let's take a look at a color wheel. A color wheel, boys and girls, is what we use in the art world. Oh, Roy, maybe, maybe Roy needs to, to lay down. We'll, we'll come back to him. A color wheel is what we use in the art world to organize all of our colors out there. And it's made up of six colors. On our color wheel, we're gonna see all of Roy's colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and we're gonna see violet. We don't see indigo um, on our color wheel just yet, but that's okay. I wanna to talk to you about a special word. The words primary colors. Everybody say it with me. Primary colors. Okay, now it's just your turn. You say it. That's right, okay. Primary colors. And primary colors, boys and girls, are three very special colors that help us make all the other colors. Our first primary color is red, then yellow, and then blue. So um, the three primary colors make up all the other colors when you mix them together. So when you mix red and yellow, you're gonna get orange. When you mix yellow and blue, you get green. And blue and red, when you mix together, you get violet or purple. And boys and girls, what we're gonna do is we're going to make our own color wheel now. You have a very special paper in your folder that looks like this. And time we're gonna be using the primary colors. So. Let's get set up to make our very own color wheel, okay? Here we go. Boys and girls, here we are. We've got our whole color wheel and it's all blank. You see that we're gonna be coloring red, yellow, and blue. These are only the primary colors and you'll only be using those today. Oh boy, here goes my colors. I gotta get my crayons to stay still. Boys and girls, you can use crayons for this project and that will be perfect. Okay, you only need your red and yellow and blue, co your colored crayons. We're gonna start using red and we are going to go all the way around the outside of our red little section. This is what I like to call a border. We're gonna fence in our color by making a border gate. And then you're gonna color the inside of your red section. Just use your crayon going back and forth to color in the area. You notice that I'm taking my time. 
I'm not rushing, and I'm trying to make sure that I color the whole thing. Pause the video now and finish coloring in your red section. Next is going to be yellow. I'm going to do the exact same thing I did before. I'm going to make a little color fence so that way my color stays inside my area. I'm going to use my yellow crayon and color in the yellow section on my color wheel. Take your time, boys and girls. Remember that you'll have a chance in a minute. You'll be pausing the video to color in your yellow on your color wheel. Now's the time to pause and color in yellow. Lastly, we've got our blue. This is where we're going to finish off our primary colors. I'm making a color fence around the whole blue section and then I'm coloring on the inside. And just like you did with red and yellow, you'll have a minute to pause the video and work on this on your own time. Now I want you to pause this video and make sure you've got all three primary colors colored in on your color wheel. What you see here is that we have some empty spaces. Let's talk about these. All right, so now you've got your red, your yellow, and your blue filled in on your color wheel. And we're looking and making sure that we're only getting red, yellow, and blue ready because we're only working with primary colors. Well, we've got three more spots that are empty. They are orange, green, and violet. Now, boys and girls, when you get ready to fill in their color wheel, you need to remember you are only using red, yellow, and blue. Maybe you're asking yourself, how can I make orange if I don't use the orange? That's right, some of you guessed it. We're going to be mixing. Let's mix primary colors together to get what we like to call secondary. That's right, orange, green, and violet have a super special name too. They are secondary colors. Okay, so now you say it with me. Secondary colors. And you say it by yourself. That's right. And Roy G. Biv is made up of both primary and secondary colors. All right, let's get... Boys and girls, it's time for us to fill in our secondary colors. We are only using primary colors to make this happen. So watch really carefully as I show you how to make your secondary colors using only primaries. We're gonna start off making our orange color. First, you notice that I've put down a very light color red. This is on purpose, boys and girls. You don't wanna color too dark with your red color because you're gonna pick up your yellow and you're going to overlap those colors together. When you overlap these colors, you're gonna notice that it's going to change the red into orange. That's because our yellow and red crayon are mixing. Now, if you have to press a little harder with the yellow to make this happen, that's okay. Go ahead right now, after you watch this, pause this video and make your orange. Next, we are headed over to green. And the way we're gonna make green is by mixing blue and yellow. You can see that it's right in the middle. I'm gonna take my blue color crayon and the same way I colored with red, very lightly, I am gonna color in with blue. This is because if I color too dark, I just won't be able to mix those colors. So I'm coloring nice and light and I'm getting the whole section colored in with crayon. I finished with my blue now, and I am gonna pick up my yellow crayon. This is where the magic happens. Here comes yellow, and it's going to change the color of blue into green. 
you're gonna fill up the entire section with this new color that you've made and watch as you combine primaries to make a secondary. I'm just gonna add a little more blue to this section because I felt like it was getting too yellow. You can do that too. You might have to go back and forth between your colors to get it to be just right. This video to finish your green. We're gonna mix our last colors together, blue and red. We're gonna get violet. First, I'm gonna lay down a light color red. We've done this before. You don't wanna press too hard. I'm making my color fence so that my colors know where to stay. And I'm gonna color the whole thing in lightly with red crayon. is colored in you are gonna get ready to make some magic pick up your blue crayon and you're gonna overlap this color once you do this you're going to get your violet color section filling in and go around as you've done over and over again to make this color wheel complete when you mix these colors together it's gonna be up to you to decide how do you want your colors to look are you looking for a light color, a dark color? This is your color wheel, boys and girls. So take your time, do a really great job, and I can't wait to see what you come up with. Let's finish up the violet. super proud of you guys. I can't wait to see your color wheels. If you want to have a grown up send me a picture, they can send it to my email and I will get to see your work. Great job boys and girls. We'll see you soon. Bye.